Today we're going to add and subtract like denominator fractions. All right, let's get started. Okay. Let's say we had um, four, six, plus one six. Four six plus one six. Okay. Now, whenever you add fractions, add or subtract fractions, you have to have the same denominator. That's the hardest part, getting the same denominator. But with the fractions that we're doing today, they all the, the denominators are already the same. The denominator is a six. Denominator is six here, and the denominator is six here. Okay. So you already have a the same denominator. So when you already have the same denominator, the only thing you need to do is just bring your denominator, bring your denominator over and add your numerator, 4 plus 1. And we know that 4 plus 1 is 5 and bring your 6 over. Okay, let's do another one. What if you had 4 fifths plus 2 fifths? Well, you want to make sure you have the same denominator. And I do. I have a denominator of 5 here, denominator of 5 here. So I'm going to keep my denominator of 5. And I'm going to add 4 plus 2 in my numerator. What did I get this 4 plus 2 from right here? 4 plus 2. I'm adding these two numerators together. Adding these two fractions together, okay? So that's going to give me 4 plus 2 is 6 over 5. 6 fifths. And if you remember, this is called a improper an improper fraction, so we need to change this to a mixed number. And what we're going to do, we're going to say, okay, well, let me do that over here. I'm going to have 6 fifths. I'm going to divide 6, divide it by 5. 5 goes in 6 one time. I'm going to subtract. And if you remember, this is my whole number. This is my numerator. And this is my new denominator. So, 6 fifths reduces down, well, changes to 1. That's my whole number. Draw my line, fraction bar. My numerator is 1. My denominator is 5. 1 and 1 fifths. Okay? All right. Uh, let's let's try another one. Let's try another one. Let's say I had um, 14 and 2 fifths minus 9 and 1 fifths. Okay? So the first thing I want to do is I want to subtract, I want to look at my, I have these two whole numbers here. 14 minus 9. Well, 14 minus 9 is 5. Okay? 14 minus 9 is 5. Now what I want to do, I have the same denominator. So, I'm going to draw my line. My denominator is going to stay 5. And 2 minus 1 is 1. So my answer is going, is going to be 5 and 1 fifths. It's 5 and 1 fifths. Okay. Let me give you two to do, okay? Um, let's go with 5 twelfths plus 1 twelfths. Um, let's do another one. Um, um, three fifths minus one fifths, and let's get a a mixed number. 
Let's do four and one third plus two and one third. Okay. If you please um, add and subtract those fractions, please. Place the video on pause. All right. Okay. We have, for our first problem, we have 5 twelfths plus 1 twelfths. Well, since our denominators are the same, I'm going to draw my line. I'm going to, I'm going to just bring my denominator of 12 over. And I'm going to add 5 plus 1 in my numerator. So I have 5 plus 1 is 6 over 12. Now, as you notice that we 6 and 12, they share a common, the greatest common factor of 2. So I'm going to divide the 6 and the 2 and the 12 and the 2. And that's going to give me 3 fourths. If you don't understand what I just did here, if you'll please watch the video on simplifying fractions, I go into detail on what I'm doing here. Okay? The next problem is problem I'm subtracting. Again, I have the same denominator, which is great. So I'm just going to use my same denominator. And I have 3 minus 1. 3 minus 1. 3 minus 1. So now I'm going to subtract 3 minus 1, which is 2, and bring my 5 over. 2 fifths, the only factor that they share is 1. So therefore, this is already in lowest terms. And my last problem that you should have worked. Okay? First of all, you notice you have the same denominator. So if you have the same number denominator, you're cool, you're ready to add or subtract. So I have a 4 and I have a plus 2. 4 plus 2 is 6. I have the same denominator, so I'm going to draw a line. I'm going to use that same denominator of 3 and 1 plus 1 in my numerator. So I have 6 and 1 plus 1 is 2 thirds. Alright, I hope this video helped you. Um, please visit me at mathwithmoon.org for additional videos and leave and at that website you can leave your comments and suggestions. Alright, have a great day. Bye.